Hello and welcome back to Maths Made Easy. Today we are going to start a new series for NCRT class 12. We are going to start with the chapter number 7 that is integral detail solution with explanation. So let's get started. Exercise number 7.1 Find an antiderivative or integral of the following function by the method of inspection. By the method of inspection is you just have to see and write the answer. Maybe only a few steps should be there. So we are going to see the question number one. Sine 2x. The antiderivative of sine 2x is a function of x. This line is very important. Antiderivative of sine 2x is a function of x whose derivative is sine 2x. It is known that d upon dx cos 2x is equal to minus 2 sin 2x since the derivative of cos x is minus sin x that's why the derivative of cos 2x is equal to minus sin 2x dot derivative of 2x that's why we get 2 so we have minus 2 sin 2x but we need to find only sin 2x in that case I'm going to transfer this minus 2 on the other hand side So we have sine 2x is equal to minus 1 upon 2 derivative of cos 2x. We are going to take this minus 1 upon 2 inside the derivative. So if you need sine 2x, you need to find the derivative of minus 1 upon 2 cos 2x. So our answer is. Therefore the antiderivative of sine 2x is minus 1 upon 2 cos 2x. Now let's see the second question, cos 3x, again a similar kind of question. We are going to start with the same line, antiderivative of cos 3x is a function of x whose derivative is 3x. We know that derivative of sin x is cos x, that's why derivative of sin 3x is equal to cos 3x into derivative of 3x and the derivative of 3x is only 3, that's why we have 3 cos x. 3 cos 3x, I'm sorry. Rest is same. And we have antiderivative of cos 3x as 1 upon 3 sin 3x. A similar kind of question, e raised to 2x. Derivative of e raised to 2x is 2 e raised to 2x. But we are interested in, in only e raised to 2x. So I am going to transfer this to on the other hand side. So the antiderivative of e raised to 2x is d upon dx in the bracket 1 upon 2 e raised to 2x. So meaning to say that our antiderivative is 1 upon 2 e raised to 2x. Question number 4 ax plus b. I am going to fast forward it little bit. You can pause the video and see here. Finally, ax plus b the whole square is 1 upon 3a, 3a plus b the whole square. We have to find the derivative of 1 upon 3a times ax plus b the whole cube to find this value. Sine 2x minus 4e raised to 3x. I'm going to solve this. Okay, antiderivative of this is the function of x whose derivative is sin 2x minus 4e raised to 3x. Okay, we all know that d upon dx of 1 upon 2 cos 2x minus 4 upon 3e raised to 3x is equal to sin 2x minus 4e raised to 3x. I mean, you have to find the reverse. We'll see how to do that. So this is our antiderivative. Similarly for question number 6. Okay, find this is the part 2 of exercise 7.1. Find the following integral in exercise 6 to 20. We have to find the integral. Basically, again, they are they want us to find the antiderivative, but we are going to step see step by step how integration is actually applied. This is a function of x, exponential function, and we have to integrate it. 
so I'm going to take integral sign inside the bracket so all the constant or coefficient is going to be stay out of the they will stay out of the integral so 4 times integral of e raised to 3x dx plus integral of 1 dx since it is only 1 I can also write integral of dx e raised to 3x e raised to 3x upon 3 plus 1 we have x plus c now how come we get e raised to 3x upon 3 remember that in case of integral when we are finding integral of any number or any any complex equation we are going to find the integral of equation as well as we will be dividing the entire equation with derivative of that equation like here e raised to 3x integration of e raised to x is only e raised to x but in this case the x is not only x it is with 3x so I am going to write derivative of d upon dx of 3x and that is only 3 so that's, that's how we got e raised to 3x upon 3 Question number 2, x square in the bracket 1 minus 1 upon x square dx. In this case, first we will simplify the equation. I am going to take this x square inside the bracket. So we have x square times 1 that is x square and x square times minus 1 upon x square. x square and x square get cancelled and we have minus 1 over here. Now again integral sign will go inside the bracket and if there is any coefficient they are going to stay on the left side of the integral signature sign that is this design so we have x square dx minus integral of 1 dx x square is equal to x raised to 3 upon 3 as you know and the integral of 1 or dx is only x and then common c coefficient constant again integral of under root x minus 1 upon root x the whole square dx in this case also we will start by simplifying the equation you can see this there is a minus b type of concept here so I'm going to simplify the equation first a square plus b square minus 2ab x root of x is x 1 upon root of x is 1 upon x when I square it minus 2 times of root x into 1 upon root x root x root x get cancelled so we have only 2 now we so integral of x integral of 1 upon x and integral of 1 this 2 will stay out uh, I mean on the right side of left side of integral x x square upon 2 1 upon x is log of x and minus 2 x that's it plus c let's move on to the next one okay here I left the question number 11 for practice if you have any doubt you can let me know in the comment section x cube plus 3x plus 4 upon under root of x dx first we will simplify the equation root x can be written as x to the power 1 upon 2 and this is x to the power 3 separating the denominator 3 minus 1 upon 2 is 5 upon 2 1 minus 1 upon 2 is 1 upon 2 and upon minus 0 minus 1 upon 2 is minus 1 upon 2 I hope you understand this how to do now we are very simple concept we are going to use x raised to n that is x raised to n plus 1 upon n plus 1 so 5 upon 2 plus 1 that is 7 upon 2 divided by 7 upon 2 x raised to 3 upon 2 divided by 3 upon 2 x raised to 1 upon 2 divided by 1 upon 2 now we are going to do the reciprocal of this denominator two upon seven two upon uh, two times three upon three so three three get cancelled we have only two 2 times 4 that is 8x raised to 1 upon 2 if you wish you can stop at this point or else you can also go in the root form but I would like to stop at this point okay that's it
no need to worry about these numbers. Integral of x cube minus x square plus x minus 1 upon x minus 1 dx. First, we will simplify the equation. And to do that, we have to take x square common in this first two term. If I take x square common, I have x minus 1 plus x minus 1 upon x minus 1. Now we will separate the de denominator. x minus 1, x minus 1 get cancelled, x minus 1, x minus 1 get cancelled. We have x square plus 1 dx. And integral of x square is x cube upon 3 and integral of 1 dx or only dx is x. And then we have plus c. Integral of 1 minus x root of x dx. I'm going to fast forward this. This is nothing. We just have to simplify the equation by taking a root x inside the bracket and then it's done. It's general form of integral that is x raised to n. x raised to n plus 1 upon n plus 1. The same concept we will use. Finish if Okay, this one. Also similar kind of integration. It, this time the, our function has two different terms with separated by two different sign. One is minus and one is plus. We will be taking root integral sign inside the bracket and we'll apply as per their formulas. Two integral of x, three integral of cos x plus e raised to x. x is integral of x is x raised to two upon two. Integral of cos x is minus sin x. Oh, plus sin x. Plus e raised to x plus c. That's it. 2, 2 got cancelled. Minus 3 sin x plus e raised to x plus c. Similar is here. Sec x will go inside the bracket. Sec x will multiply with sec x and multiply with tan x. So we have sec square x plus sec x tan x dx. And then we are going to apply the integral sign as per their formula. So you know the integration of sec x, sec square x is 10x and integration of sec x 10x is sec x. By the way, I am going to provide a list of formula by at the end of this video. If you wish, you can take the screenshot or do whatever, uh, write, it down or write it down on a paper. Sec square x upon cosec square x. A very interesting question. We have to convert the sec and cosec in terms of sine and cos so that we have their integration directly available to us. 1 upon cosec square, 1 upon sin square. Sin square will go on top of co cosec uh, cos square x. So now we have 10 square x. And by the formula of identity, we know that 10 square x can be written as sec square x minus 1. Now we have the integral integration of sec square x. Sec integration of sec square x is 10x. And for minus 1, we have x plus c. Question number 21. This is third part of our exercise number 7.1. The antiderivative of root x plus 1 upon root x is equal to option A, option B, option C, option D. You have to find the integral of this function and see what it looks like. We'll see root x plus 1 upon root x. Simplify. Root x raised, can be written as x raised to power 1 by 2. x raised to power minus 1 by 2. Now apply the normal integration formula. Okay. This is 2 upon 3 x raised to 3 by 2 plus 1 upon 2. No. A and B fails. How about C? Yeah. The correct answer is C. Question number 22. If d upon dx f of x is 4x cubed minus 3 upon x raised to 4, meaning to say that if the derivative of this function is this, such that when you put 2 in place of x, you get 0 find the value of function. Derivative of function is this. So you need to find the function. To find the function, we have to find integral. So let's apply the integration formula here also. 
anti derivative of 4x cube minus 3 raised 3 upon x raised to 4 this I'm going to take 4 out 4 here before the integral sign and let's see x cube dx minus 3x raised to minus 4 f of x is equal to 4 x cube dx minus 3 integral of x raised to minus 4 dx when you apply integration of x cube you get x raised to 4 upon 4 and in case of minus 4 you get minus 3 upon minus 3 so 4 4 get cancelled minus 3 minus 3 get cancelled we have x raised to 4 x cube plus c but what it is given f of 2 is equal to 0 so to find the value of c I'm going to substitute x as 0 no x as 2 and the resultant should be equal to 0 so I'm going to substitute 2 and see what I get the value of c or the constant here it is 16 plus 1 upon 8 plus c is equal to 0 so c is equal to minus 6 of 16 plus 1 upon 8 whether when you do a simple cross multiplication here you get minus 1 upon minus 129 upon 8 so to get the answer we are going to substitute our c in here so let's see x raised to 4 plus 1 upon x raised to 3 x raised to 4 plus 1 upon x raised to 3 minus 129 upon 8 so option a is right answer I hope you get some value from this lecture. If you did, then please like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. I will see you in the next one. Thank you very much.